it's 10 year and gosh it feels like a gazillion years since I did a video and yes it has been quite long actually but as I'm flipping through my Hobonichi for March and April I'll explain to you what's been happening my side of the world uh, in this <laughs> in this uh, very topsy-turvy weird world we find ourselves in um, actually, in Africa, COVID-19 came to us later than it did most of the rest of the world. Uh, we started to see signs of cases around about the 6th of March. And then we went into lockdown on the 27th of March. And we've been in lockdown a couple of days, over 21 days. That was our original one, was 21 days. And then... The government decided to extend it for another two weeks, so we are still in lockdown. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you all about that when we get to that part. This still is when life was, you know, normal. <laughs> or reasonably normal. I tell you, 2020... I'm sorry, yeah, this is... Let, let's flip while I wax eloquent. Although, no, I wanted to actually tell you what I been doing in here. So just quickly, 2020 has not proven to be the year I thought it was going to be. In the beginning of the year there was optimism, you know, there was there was happy <laughs> It was going to be a great year, 2020, lovely and round the number, you know, it was it here, even there, all happy about 2020. And now, oh, not so much. Not, not, yeah, not the happiest of times. And I did want to say that uh, if you have been affected by this pandemic in any way, I mean, obviously we've all been affected, but if you've been affected uh, by the by, by COVID-19, I am very, very sorry, and I hope that things will improve. So, yes, let's do this, shall we? Let's look at happy things, because this has kind of been my sanity for... <laughs> the last three weeks. This is meant to be a northern a northern white rhino. I uh, didn't really know what to do with the page, as is normal, and uh, so I looked up one of the Hobonichi challenges for March, and it was uh, a white rhino, so I endeavoured to uh, do one. I mean, what can we say? It's a pink white rhino. <laughs> and this was when these two went and joined the gay parade and they had a fantastic time. They said it was so much fun. And a lot of the printables you will see in here are from Courtney Diaz. I'm part of her Patreon, so I get her printables every month and she does a fabulous job. This year she's doing star signs for um, each month. Let me show you March's. March's was Capricorn. It was so cute. I think it's probably one of my favourites. If I can find it. Where did I put Capricorn? No, February's not Capricorn, is it? I think it is. Anyway. Anyway, it is around here somewhere. <laughs> January's Capricorn. What am I talking about? Oh, see? The world is upside down. Okay, now I'm just, now I'm just faffing, are they faffing around, but yes. Oh yeah, because my father, you know, his birthday is in January, he's a Capricorn. So what is February? Did I even put February's in? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what the star sign is for February. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, she's doing these fantastic star signs. <laughs> so, each month we get those and then we get a whole bunch of other... Uh, printables and yeah they are super fun too she does days of days of the week and uh, yeah it's really a lot of fun to to put them in your journal especially if you know you're like me you're not fabulously artistically bent so yeah so anyway this is actually one of mine I did some artwork last year it fizzled out I've mentioned it before but uh, the ones that I really liked, I have been sticking in here because they were, they were done on this Tamoe River paper. So, you know, they blend in nicely, I think. And yes, that's one of our cats. This is Phoebe. She uh, is named after Phoebe from Friends. We are nerdy like that. And yeah, she's Jessica's cat. And yeah, again, this page wasn't really sure what to do. Had this photograph of Tamsin and her boyfriend at a rugby game. 
And so, yeah, I just threw some stickers on it as an afterthought. These are really cute. These I got from Japan. So, yeah, super cute. And again, um, I haven't been having the, the best of years. It started in the beginning of February with uh, massive retrenchments at work. And then my mother was very, very ill. So the, this poor journal did take a little bit of a beating because I didn't know what to do. I didn't feel creative. I didn't want to write anything down. So instead I put pictures in of my kids because they make me happy. And this is one of Courtney's again, which is printed on um, transparency. And doesn't that look super cute, especially when I put... Is it Aries? Yeah, it is Aries, March. Well, I should know. I mean, Tamsin and my husband are. Her birthday is March. So, yes, I thought that looked super cute. And gosh, you know, printing stuff on... I hope there's not glare. Printing stuff on uh, transparency just makes so much fun. Um, yeah, I wrote a bit. I have been writing more. A lot of the times, you'll see it here, I've come back with future Tanya because I hadn't written anything. And then when the lockdown happened, uh, Jessica and myself went down to my parents because my mum had, well, basically she begged them to let her get out of hospital because she knew once the lockdown happened, she would be stuck in there and there would be no visiting. And I mean, nobody wants that. So she came out and she is doing much better. She had a massive back operation and things went a little awry as they always do with my mother that is, but uh, she's on the mend, so that's fabulous, but she was very worried about my father coping, he's 80, she's 76 I think now, 77, so you know they're, they're not old, but they're also not, you know, as sprightly as they used to be, so Jessica and I, we went down to help them out, and it was a very good three weeks, I must say, uh, you know what it's like with families, um, it can get a bit rough at times. <laughs> You know, you know, I'm sure you do. You know, we, we're not meant to be together in, in, in a lockdown situation all the time, <laughs> but it actually went very well. But what I did is I took this with me and I took my stickers and my watercolor paints and I didn't take a lot with me, but I made do. And yeah, I caught up on a lot of the stuff that I hadn't done during March. So that's why, long story to explain to you why there are future 10 years in here where I've come back in and I've written stuff. So yeah, there's my other kitty cats. This is my daily carry. And I've been having so much fun making dangles. This one is was my first one that I made. And then I went off and bought a whole bunch of beads and uh, made this one. This one's got cute little Mercy, a unicorn. They're so cute. These little charms I got off um, AliExpress. And uh, yeah, they're super, super cute. But what's fun about this one is it's kind of stretchy. <laughs> just don't pull on it too hard. You'll have beads everywhere. So yeah, so I came in and I just uh, did a little representation of that. And uh, yeah, let's carry on. Yeah, this is when things were starting to affect us way more. And yeah, Animal Crossing. I understand it's a game. I, I'm I'm not that stupid, <laughs> but I don't I don't have the game. I've never heard of the game. It was only when Courtney did some printables of her interpretation of the characters from Animal Crossing that it you know kind of came into my my world. Um, so I just put that in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play the game. I'm more a solitaire person on the computer. I know I'm so old. Oh dear. Tamsin and Jamie, they're the gamers. They spend all night gaming. There we see another one of Jessica in there. And I actually quite like this one. It's it's there's a lot of colour going on and there's no real cohesiveness about it, but but I still like it and his face is so funny. I thought about colouring in the flowers actually. I might still do that. It's a bit of magazine paper that I put behind, you know, I collaged and then I put him on there and I only realized afterwards it kind of gives him like a crown of flowers. So there you go. And yeah, I'm not quite sure what she was doing there. She was doing some, some event or something and she did half makeup and half not. And I thought it looked pretty cool. And I also write, but then I had no idea what she was doing. 
but she sent me the photo. This was when um, Varsities were still, you know, doing their thing. This page, they did, there's nothing going on this page. Cute cats, but that's it. That pretty much reflects the state of mind of all of us, I think. <laughs> and here we go. COVID-19 madness is gripping the nation. Uh, yeah, because this was when we were starting to realise, you know, that we're not immune to it. We're, we're not special. South Africa is, is not special. We're going to get the cases as well. Uh, this is another one of Courtney's. This is actually from a Sticky Club kit. And I thought it was kind of appropriate. You know, poor ravens, they get a, a bad rep. But anyway, moving on. Yeah, we went away for a weekend here, which was very nice. We took our little teardrop and went. And I was so looking forward to it because it was going to be some serious R&R. &R, and it was. Uh, the wind, the wind blew so much, which is why I put this little printable there. Uh, but so I spent most of my day, we went for two days. I spent most of the days in my little teardrop with a book and my journal and my stickers. And yeah, I did enjoy myself. It's beautiful there, that's the view. And again, this is one of Courtney's. Ah, oh, she's just so talented. It just looks so fun. So that's what I have been doing, is having fun in here, you know, brightening up myself with stickers <laughs> and funky, weird sticky notes. This is also from the Sticky Club. So yeah, and these are the little drawings from I don't have it with me at the moment. It's that book that says how to draw almost every day. It's super fun. I mean, they they really are cute. Um, my cat's a bit skinny, poor thing. But, uh, and, and yeah, aspect ratio is not good. And here we go again. I didn't know what to do. So I put some rather morbid looking <laughs> stickers down. <laughs> I actually think they're quite cute. I think this was a, it must have been an, a... Oh golly, brain, brain gone. Halloween, there we go. It must have been a Halloween inspired sticky club month, that one. I I am actually starting to kind of run out of stickers, which is mind blowing because I have rather a lot of them. But to cheer myself up, I did, I did an order on AliExpress, which will come who knows when, but uh, I did purchase some more because I justified it because I was using, <laughs> using up my stickers. <laughs> So yeah, this I just put down to sort of indicate, you know, how I was feeling. Scared. Kind of, you know, don't want to think about it, put your head in the sand. Yeah, you know, they're very cute. They're, they're really, really sweet stickers. And yeah, the, this is future Tanya again. I, um, I get the Coco Daisy kits and the last one I received was March's. And April is, I, I have subsequently received April. I got it yesterday, I think. Super, super exciting. But I had the printables that they give you, so I had printed those out so I could stick them in. And uh, I'm going to get to play with my April ones now. I might pretend that they are for me because uh, I put I put my subscription on hold. Basically what's happened with, with what how it's affecting me personally, the pandemic, is that our work has gone into reduced times. So we now work a four day week and only seven hours per day, whereas normally you would work five day week, eight hours per day. And that has meant that there's a 25% reduction in my salary. So that's, you know, that's not not an unsubstantial amount of money. So yes, the, uh, and if you can hear my cat, I apologize. I closed the door, Some now he wants to get up. You know what they're like. So yeah, so the purchasing is going to be curtailed for quite some time, which is not not a bad thing. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff, let's face it. We all have a lot of stuff that we can use while we wait for the world to come back to normal. So yeah, we did manage to have Tamsin's 21st, which was fabulous. Not everybody was able to come that were invited. Uh, yeah, like my folks because my mum at this stage was still in a hospital, but uh, we still had a lot of fun. And I, I had a lot of photos, which I thought was, was um, I wanted to get them all in. So I did a lot of tippins on tippins to make sure. And I made a boo-boo here. I, no, <laughs> I was gonna do this tippin and the photograph was meant to be there. But for some reason, I managed to do it here, cut it in half without realizing it, because I was working on this side of the photo. 
But uh, I made it work. I put it in and yeah, I, you know, his eyes are on the, the same side, so you know, it works. <laughs> but yeah, it was a fabulous day. She had a great time and it looked really pretty. What we did is we wanted to go for, a, well, she wanted to go for a rustic theme. And so we got a whole bunch of, I just realized, yeah, no, that is her name, not mine. That would be very um, egotistical if that was my name, not hers. <laughs> we got scones and muffins and croissants and hams and cheeses, very continental breakfast type thing. And we made these individual little brown bags for everybody with the name on it. And yeah, it it really was, it really was very, very nice. And she was very happy. This is her, this is her actual birthday. And hubby's on the 22nd, poor hubby. His birthday is always neglected, always overlooked because Terms and you know, what can I say? Priorities. <laughs> so my brother sent her a whole bunch of fancy stuff from their florist, uh, including a bottle of uh, genuine champagne, which I then uh, decided I was going to have that because there was no way she was going to enjoy it. They like the sweet stuff, so she was quite happy to donate that bottle to her mum. Her mum was quite happy to drink it too. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. There's the three of us. I like my dress, it's pretty. So yeah, still reasonably, you know, the, the world, the world as we know it in South Africa hadn't gone completely insane yet, but it was going to, because it was around about here, they announced that we were going to do the 21 day lockdown, and that's when my mum phoned and asked us to come down. Well, she asked me to come down, and then Jessica very kindly said she'd come down too. She's a good girl, though. well, I mean, they're both good girls, but... Uh, she was super, super helpful because she enjoys cooking and I do not. So she did a lot of the cooking. But yeah, mum mum is on the mend, so that's that's nice in this page. I mean, what can I say? Yeah. <laughs> I had these really cute stickers and I wanted to use them because they're pretty. So I stuck them in and basically said, you know, what's happening and how we're not going to be travelling for who knows how long. My gosh, that's the whole thing, isn't it? Um, things are going to be so different when the world calms down and we try and get back to a bit of normalcy. So yeah, this is when our 21 day lockdown began and uh, we arrived, we arrived at Mum's on the Wednesday. I thought she was cute, she does look a bit like a nurse. <laughs> So yeah, so as as I said, I didn't have a lot of stuff with me. I did take my sprocket with me, so I was able to print out sprocket photos, which was great because I really do enjoy putting photos in my spreads. Uh, it you know I'm a scrapbooker at heart, so this is this is now my scrapbook because I don't do traditional scrapbooking anymore. And uh, yeah, so yeah, social distancing. And again, you know, this is when I was still trying to think of things to put in my spread. And then I then I did start to get a bit more creative, which which was nice, as I said in the beginning. And this is a super long chatty video, I hope you don't mind. Maybe I should No, I'm gonna do April as well. Um I'm working from home, which is which is a a really nice thing because the days do get rather long if you don't have anything to do, especially when you're not in your own home, you know. If I was here now, like now, I mean, there's so much I can do, but uh, at my mum's, not as much. So, so yeah, but uh, I have a file folder, which has got this picture on it. So, and this is washi tape from, mm. is it Jane's? So Jane Davenport's, I think it is. Anyway, I thought it looked super cool as grass. And uh, so I drew Snoopy having a drink. Oh, that's the other thing. Our government, I'm pretty sure we're the only country in the world where our government has banned the sale of alcohol. Yep, I know, I fall off my chair too. <laughs> Not 100% sure why. There are good reasons for it, but it also does boggle the brain just a little bit. And uh, yeah... So if you ran out of your stack of wine at home, you, you're stuffed. Fortunately here, we still have some wine, so, and, you know. But yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're not a 
if you don't you know drink alcohol then you're probably thinking well so what but if you do like a glass of wine in the evening um, and somebody you know has now decided you can't do that anymore it's a bit off oh and cigarettes we're not allowed to buy cigarettes either so yeah what can I say interesting interesting times again these were the printables from the Coco Daisy April kit that I had <laughs> stickers you know, this, this kind of thing just makes me happy. You know, you create the scene and then you put a, a pig being either beamed up or beamed down. I mean, and one in there. It's just funny. <laughs> so yeah, so this I decided then just to, to show that I was working from home and we do a lot of Skype calls and things, meetings. And uh, yeah, social distancing, that's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and just a little window to show, you know, that that's pretty much what we're doing all day long is staying inside and not allowed visitors. Yeah, you know, putting these little things in to indicate. And as I said, I'm writing a lot more. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good side effect. This is one of Courtney's printables. And, uh, yeah, Jessica, as I said, she's, she was being fabulous. There's my mom doing a puzzle. She's finished it now. A thousand-piece puzzle. She loves her puzzles. And, yeah, we did a braai... As you can see, as I said, I started to get more um, into the actual sketching. I love sketching things. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, carrying on. Tamsin. Now she's the one she stayed here. Put it, made it her mission to get all the cats to love her. Uh, you know, so that when I came back, they wouldn't love me. <laughs> they do, they do still, but uh, she seems to have persuaded my black cat who I, would, I won't tell them to their faces you know the cats but the black cat's my favorite but anyway so she decided to do that and I mean she's allergic to these damn things you know she has allergies but what can you do you can't tell a 21 year old what to do so uh, she now has toothless sleeping with her every night <laughs> and this was the backing of a sticker sheet that I got and then these are sticky club stickers so I thought that was kind of cute. This, this I swear, looks like a meerkat dressed up in a cat costume. <laughs> Didn't turn out too well. I have a book of um, watercolour pictures and exercises and things that I had taken with me. So I did a lot of those and this was one of them. Because a ginger cat did actually come and say hello to me. So I did get my cat fix while I was at my fix. And that's there. But uh, yeah. Artistic wise. <laughs> And this is where we were. We were at my mum's dining room table every day where I either worked or um, did my art. And Jessica was sat over here doing her thing as well. Again, Courtney's. Super cute, eh? Yeah. Oh, and I did take some of um, some of her, her stuff with me that I had printed out previously. So again, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what to do there. I didn't have anything to say. Every day was much the same. So I put it in because it's pretty, bright pops of colour. And Jessica made a limbering pie. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> my watercolour sketch of it, not so much, but, uh, oh my gosh, my hair. Apologise for that. Gah. Keeps falling out. <laughs> it's getting long. <laughs> it's been the longest it's ever been since I, uh, gosh, since I left school, I think. I used to have long hair. Uh, and then cut it as one does so yeah again a bit of a mishmash here I had some stickers and uh, Tamsin and then I discovered well I didn't discover I knew they were there in the uh, sprocket app they've got you know stickers and things that you can put on your photos so I thought that one was quite cute the future is female and yes this is then when this was now I think our second week of our lockdown and the government decided to extend it by two weeks so I said, okay, we're resetting two more weeks. Quite like this page, actually. It's kind of cute. And that was when I started to wonder whether I was going to have to spend the entirety of the lockdown at my folks. And I tried to, I asked work to see if they could get me a permit because obviously if you're designated essential services, you're allowed to move around. But um, that. I mean, I'm not essential services, so we couldn't really go that route. And it was only it was only a week later when I phoned uh, the local police station in Nightsnow, where, where, where my folks live, and I asked them, you know, look, this is the situation. 
how do we get home? What do we need to get home? And he said, obviously, you, you're allowed to move if there's a funeral, which is pretty grim, but yeah. And the other thing was if you had a medical condition. And so uh, I, 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 am, I have high blood pressure. I know it's not, you know, detrimental to my health at the moment. And Jessica has Graves' disease and, you know, a few other things. So I emailed my doctor and I asked her very, very sweetly if she would write a letter to say that we needed to come home because of our medical conditions. And she was super sweet. She did. She wrote a very good letter, you know, emphasized a few things, you know, exaggerated a few little things. Because I have had... Uh, episodes in the past with my high blood pressure which have been well you know not 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 great but you know not fatal but anyway that's beside the point we had our letter so when the original lockdown was due to end we then my mum said no it's fine she's feeling much better she you know they're able to cope on their own uh, we can come home obviously because then, you know my other kid is here my husband's here my home you know, so so we did that and we were a little nervous because, you know, we thought maybe the police would say, no, this is rubbish, you, you need to go back to where you were, because that's what they're doing, because people are obviously trying to go from one part of the country to another to, to get back to their families, and you're not allowed to do that, and they're being very, very strict about it. Anyway, we had one, only one time where the police stopped us, and we gave the letter, and he read it, and he looked at our IDs, and he said, fine, carry on. And that was it. So it was a super nice drive home, because obviously there was nobody on the roads. <laughs> but I must say, I'm very happy to be home. I am happy to be home. Yeah, and here is where I got this child is stealing my favorite cat. <laughs> These were all the washies I took with me. Uh, they're really cute. So yeah, this one... I know it's a lot of stuff going on here, but I quite like it. This is Courtney's, and I took a picture because I went down to the shopping centre, to the to the supermarket, and obviously you have to... This was before it opened up, and I was fourth in the queue. I was very chuffed that I was fourth in the queue, but obviously you've got distances between you, and, you know, you sanitise as you go in, you sanitise as you come out, and they only allow a certain amount of people into the supermarket at a time. So, yeah, it um, it's been very well done. Uh, apart from the alcohol, but we're not talking about that. And yeah, these were some Kit Kats which we had never seen before, which I bought because obviously this was ever this was just before Easter. Or well, this is Easter. I think this is the Easter weekend. And uh, so yeah, I got us some fancy, quite expensive chocolates <laughs> to celebrate. And yeah, that's my dad. I put that there. Every picture tells a story because you know my father's always doing the cooking because my mum's not very mobile at the moment. She's getting better, so hopefully she can do more things and not overdo it you know how you get you feel better and then you suddenly do everything and then set yourself back and i i absolutely adore this spread it's this kind of style i think is is very similar to i watch her on youtube emilu arts she's so sweet super funny and yeah i thought i would do a little bit of that this is actually a piece of collage from a collage book of mine. I had it with a small bit with me, so I put it there and then did some doodles on it to make it look, you know, like these were already there and I doodled some more. My little sprocket pictures that we got and then stickers and writing and yeah, Jessica did my nails. That's the other thing. Of course, all non-essential items in, in the shops are blocked off and that includes makeup, which, you know, you can understand who who... If you're at home every day, you don't really need to get all made up. But uh, Jessica was feeling like she wanted to do some self-care and had said, if you find any nail polish, please buy some. And they had a few gift sets, <laughs> which, you know, they were trying to get rid of uh, that weren't locked down. So I bought one and she did my nails for me. Long story, I know. And we played some Chinese checkers. And had sweeties and played table tennis. You know, it's it's you you do some fun stuff when you're not allowed out. And this is as far as I've got because we um, when did we come back? We came back here, so I've got some catching up to do. But I love this. <laughs> These are stickers that I've had for a long, long time. And again, there's that washi tape that I've created hills out of and created. 
I, I don't know if they're llamas or alpacas, I don't know. But, you know, you stick birds on them. <laughs> and <laughs> it just it's just funny. I, I giggle. And this little guy, he's my favourite. <laughs> so, yeah, so there you go. That is everything that I've done since the beginning of March and big long stories about what's going on in my life. I do, I do truly hope that you are all keeping safe and sane and I hope that in the not too distant future we will be able to do a lot more normal things. <laughs> so I'm going to say goodbye now because I've talked a lot and I wish you well and yeah, um, it's nice to be back, it's nice to be able to do a video again, so I hope to do some more uh, coming up. You know, what? Are, you know, we need our entertainment on YouTube, us creatives. <laughs> so yeah, have a fantastic day and we will chat again soon. Bye bye.